Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Luis Soto. I am a personal trainer, life coach, and meditation teacher. And I am excited to share this positive message with you today. This show is called Awaken to the Brand New You. Awaken to the Brand New You got established and created by me three years ago. I wrote the book Awaken to the Brand New You, The Path to Reinventing Oneself, because I wanted to share my struggle and journey with the world on how I was able to release my past, make amends with my past, heal my wounds, and awaken to the brand new me. This show, my friend, is about awakening to who you truly are, which is your authentic self. So, this is the new podcast. I hope that you like it, comment, share with your friends and family. I'm going to be sharing my wisdom, my insight. I'm going to be sharing tools. I'll place some links so uh, you could uh, join my email list. I also have incredible products to share that is going to help you really connect and integrate the mind, the body, and the spirit for a full-on transformation. So my friends, thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. 2018, a brand new year. Everyone sets new year resolutions. People want to lose weight. People want to make more money this time. People want to get into a new relationship. Hopefully, a better, loving, nurturing, kind relationship than the ones that they have been used to in the past. Okay, New Year resolutions do not work. They do not work because they're coming from a place actually from lack and scarcity. It's coming from a place of wishing, wanting, hoping, which wanting, wishing, and hoping does not get you anywhere, okay? Now, if you are going to create something new, you must be willing to try something different. So instead of writing down new resolutions, I want you to write down new intentions, for 2018. You see, an intention is totally different than a resolution. Because a resolution could start strong and it'll start to fizzle out. An intention is there and it grows and it matures and it germinates and it blossoms into who you want to become. Even if you're having a challenging time changing old ways and old habits and old behavior. The intention is the seed. It's the foundation. It's how things are going to sprout up and things are going to manifest and change differently in your life. So, let's get to it. Take out a piece of paper. Get a pen, pencil, and I want you to write down Your intentions for 2018. And this is how you're going to do it. Write down an intention for your mind. Write down an intention for the body. Write down an intention for spirit. Why those three categories? Because in order for us to have a radical transformation... I'm talking about a powerful metamorphosis that completely turns our body upside down and then manifests a new reality. There must be mind, body, and spirit in action. Why? Mind, body, and spirit is balance. We're made from those three elements. So my friends... 
This is what I want you to take on. If you're willing to try a new belief, a new idea, a new paradigm, this is what I strongly believe, okay? We are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. It is not the other way around. If you truly believe that you're a spiritual being having a human experience, then you know in order for you to transcend whatever it is that's happening in your life, that means that you start connecting to the essence of who you are, which is a spiritual person. If you're coming from a place from your human self, there's limitation because the human self is limited. The spiritual self is infinite. So we are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. When we exercise and we nurture a mind, a body, and a spirit, those three together are working synchronistically, powerfully, in unison. And they're giving us the motivation they're giving us the umph. I'm talking about you're connecting to your I am power. That is your essence. You take ownership of who you are, my friends. So look at your intentions from mind, body, and spirit. Let's look at the mind. Okay? Now, how are we going to change our mind for 2018? Okay, we're going to stop. Um, inputting garbage into our mind. So what does that mean? Maybe you've been watching a lot of nonsense TV. I mean, stuff that is not elevating your life. Understand, negative information is going into your subconscious mind. So on a subconscious level, regardless if you think it's not happening, but if you don't see any changes in your life, you're being influenced by the things that you allow your mind to take in. So make it a point to just instill positive information. So read positive books. You know, listen to positive podcasts like this one, positive YouTube uh, videos and channel, okay? Second thing I want you to try out is meditation. Meditation has been around for thousands of years. I have been meditating for 13 years. Meditation has completely transformed my life and it has helped me deal with a lot of my challenges. That if I didn't have meditation, I really don't know how um, I would have survived, okay? Starting a meditation practice might seem scary, but the only thing that you have to be willing to do is try. I wrote a meditation ebook. I'm working on a meditation course, and I also have a guided meditation audio. I'll provide the links for you to um, to download, to buy, to try it out. Again, meditation is going to shift your consciousness. It's going to help you connect to your spirit and to your soul. And it's going to calm you down. It's going to help you be in the present moment. Let's give meditation a shot. Let's read and listen to more positive information that's going to influence your mind. Next, body. What are we going to do about the body? We want to lose weight. We want to get in amazing shape. How do we do that? We set the intention. We set the intention to really surpass our past physical transformation. So I want you to, this time, try something new, okay? If you never hire a personal trainer, Start interviewing personal trainers. If you never tried a nutritional program, start looking around for the right nutritional program. 
Get yourself a workout buddy. But you need accountability. You need somebody that's going to motivate you and guide you, my friends. I mean, look, if you haven't done it alone by yourself, that says that you need motivation, you need accountability, and you need help. If you want to reach out to me, you could send me an email, lifecoach at 768. We'll set up a time to talk. I'll share with you my services. I'll, you know, if you want to get in amazing shape, we could train. I could put you in an incredible nutritional program. Listen, whatever you need, I got it. This is a one stop shop mind, body, and spirit. But if you want to, if you don't want to try, then go out and just seek, right? Because look, the person that goes out and knocks, the door is going to be open. Seek and you shall find. But you got to try something new. I don't want you to do it on your own. Whether you hire a personal trainer, you get a workout partner, you try something new, okay? Eliminate what you did in the past because it didn't work. Last thing, my friend, spirit. How is your spiritual health? Are you really connecting to spirit, to God? What is your spiritual belief? Okay, where there's God, the divine, the universe, whatever it is that you want to call it, infinite intelligence, you got to nurture your spiritual health. How do you do that? Belong to a church. Have a church family. I belong to Unity Church of Christ. Unity Church of Christ is a non-denominational church. Unity, we stand for all faiths. Our belief is that there's only one presence and one power in the universe. God, all good, omnipotence. There's no separation. Okay? Nothing is divided from people. We accept all faiths. Anybody that wants to learn how to deepen their relationship with God and their spiritual understanding of why they're here on this planet, unity is another way to go. If not, join a Bible class. Just really belong to a congregation that you can nurture your spirit. Read spiritual books. Watch spiritual movies. You got to really start connecting to your spiritual self. Try out a journal. Journaling is amazing because you could write down how you feel. And when you put those emotions on on paper... The emotions are not going to take over your body. They're not going to take over your self because emotions are energy emotions. So I really want you to try that out. Those are three things that I want you to do. Set new intentions for mind, body, and spirit. Let's make 2018 a powerful year. My friends, this is the Awaken to the Brand New You podcast. I will love it if you will like it, subscribe to this podcast. I'm going to be sharing a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight, a lot of knowledge on mental, physical, and spiritual transformation. Tools, tactics, ideas, thoughts. That you could take on to completely integrate the whole body and transform from the inside out. So my friends, my name is Luis Soto. Thank you so much much for tuning in. And I will be sharing amazing information to really help you awaken to the brand new you. Thank you so much. Namaste. The divine in me sees and acknowledges the divine in you.